I was going to ask you a question. What one sport would you watch the rest of your life? Man, pickleball, bro. I'm all in. <sighs> pickleball is actually, incredible. <laughs> no, pickleball Pickleball's top five to play, for sure. Maybe top is three. Gronk bro. playing pickleball somewhere? They're doing like a TV show with like a bunch of former people. I'm and- in. I'm in. Yeah, I'm watching. Celebrity it. pickleball? Watching. Absolutely. Yeah. That or XFL? What are you watching? Oh. I'm watching hockey. Okay. <laughs> I know sure. your answer. All right. XFL that's fair. expert. All right, soccer Jacob, just is like soccer just gets a little weird. Like soccer is my second choice, but like I don't want these. I don't want like flops. Like penalties in hockey are very easy to call because they're blatant. Two minutes for flopping, you get in hockey you, sometimes, right? Uh, what's it called? Barely uh, called. Yeah, it's, I don't remember what it's called, but yeah, you get it called a lot actually because it's yeah. very easy to leave your skates because it's hard, you're doing it. You you know it's like get lifted off your skates without yeah. you know you doing it or someone else doing it. So if someone else didn't do it, then. Who is it? All right, Jacob. <laughs> it's pretty easy to figure out. <laughs> Three seconds, no explanation. Answer the question. What, Taylor's, what's the question? Taylor's, what, Taylor's what's question. question. What, what, yeah, what sport are you watching yeah. for life? He doesn't know the question, Justin. <laughs> yeah, sorry. He wasn't even listening. <laughs> he wasn't. Uh, squash. No, cricket. Love it. Love it. <laughs> Amazing. So I get that you're burning out by football. I wouldn't want to watch football. What's, what we sport is even going on right now? There's like basketball. Maybe Everything. Baseball, uh, oh, hey, sorry about that. The Rogue. Feels like oh, everything, The Rogue though. song is We're, doing... We paid the musician a little longer than we thought. Yeah, we well, now we have to pay him right twice, there. right? Yes, they got to pay him yeah. twice for that music, sure. which is ridiculous. That's how they get you. And they like, they're like <laughs> insta-loop it. It's crazy. But it's another Absolutely. fantasy football show presented by Sports Injury Central. Week 10 in the books. And by that, I mean... Uh, NFL football because uh, we you know we talked about a lot of sports before this podcast started. So I just want to make sure you're we're clear. This is NFL fantasy football. Uh, we'll be covering it here with the assistance and and uh, uh, I guess of Sports Injury Central SICScore.com. You can get a lot of uh, injury analysis and details. A lot of injuries this week, uh, producing a lot of opportunity for some good leftovers this week. I I, I, oh, I say good. I mean leftovers are only as good as. As what? They're never fresh. As good as they <laughs> were know. before. You, you always think higher of them than they actually do, but that's all right. It's, it's, it's part true. of the excitement of the waiver wire. So yeah, I, I just want to say that RIP to the tight end landscape. It's absolutely decimated it's done. right now. Done. Barren. Very bad. Yeah, there were like two, two of like the top five, right? And and the yeah. top five was already kind of kind of weird, and now it's just it's a wasteland. But uh, let's just get into the injury rundown, and we can we can all cry through this. Uh, Josh Allen obviously did pretty well last week. Um, surprise active about or with the elbow he's going to play this week against the browns not really much effect on throwing uh that we from what we've seen the elbow maybe he's struggling on some throws maybe doesn't have as much zip but that that didn't really look like it against the vikings the two two uh interceptions were kind of on the run scramble plays um the risk does is still there that he gets sacked in the same way he was against the jets with the strip sack and tears the full ucl that's that's kind of the gamble they're making but as long as he's active in fantasy, you're going to have him active in your lineup. So there it is. Uh, yeah, Jamar Chase sure. with the hip still on crutches. That's not necessarily a setback. Um, they're just trying to keep him off the hip as much as possible. We're at the fourth week of the six, yeah. right? Four to six. So we're at the early part. So yeah, like you yeah. said, it's not really I wouldn't bad panic about Jamar Chase. Yeah. It, as a yeah. casual, when I saw that, got to be honest, I panicked a little bit. Uh, I was Anytime like, What's you've seen going crutches, you're like, you're supposed to be getting better. He's supposed to be yeah. progressing to yeah, walking but and like, yeah, all this stuff. But he has a hip injury. Let him, he needs to walk. You're guys. supposed well, to see. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, possible, I don't know. Yeah. Now yeah. I'm worried for atrophy. Like what, is he going to have toothpicks for legs now at this point? If he's not walking, what's going on here? How long do you think it takes to atrophy? Guys, I didn't realize he got a six doctor at sixscore.com. Oh my God. <laughs> introducing yeah. it no no it's just I'm, withering I'm just, away by the week come on i'm just messing but no it is it, what's 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 annoying like, is obviously no he didn't, what do you need for your bones brittling <laughs> every jamar chase owner out there right now is, is not i'm not gonna say wasting a roster spot but it does kind of suck that you've he's been it's been he didn't four get put weeks on IR, right he didn't get put on ir you didn't right. get the that, IR that moves flexibility. this year it's it's the new practice squad um moves it's so easy like you can have max philip Lindsay's all these players that we knew that were good and the last couple tevin coleman had a big game for the niners right before he got you know right. you you can just literally have somebody move him around. You don't need to do IR. Mike Williams, he didn't go on IR. He probably should have. I know he he has a chance to come back this week, but like he probably not going to be effective if he does. It's like, always the buys in the middle that they mess it up because yep, if you put yeah. him on buy, if you put on IR, he's automatic out five weeks, and most right. guys are four, if he five. Um, so Cooper Cup is one that hit did hit IR. Unfortunately, don't expect him back for your fantasy playoffs. High ankle sprain, uh, usually four to six weeks for return to play, but you're not 100 percent when you return to play takes another week or so to get the full mobility who knows where the rams are going to be at in week 16 doesn't look like it's got an idea. in the right direction so i got an idea where they'll be 
at the yeah. bottom of the uh, standings, probably. <laughs> well, he uh, saw their offensive line out of nowhere, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> offensive line, they're already on like a couple second strings. It looks like a couple of those positions might go to three now, right. which is crazy. Like, that's not what you want. <laughs> and Stafford, FP today, so he'll be back from his concussion, but continuing offensive line issues. That's not a. It's already having a poor yeah, year. Yeah, it's not reassuring. You don't have your and money. then you lose your top right, wide receiver. Exactly. So yeah, but type of surgery doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to improve the timeline. There's nothing that can heal ligaments faster. It's just a more reco- reliable co- recovery when he does come back. If you go to Alabama, it's faster recovery. That's <laughs> what they. It's say. college. Yeah, everything's faster <laughs> yeah. in college. Yeah. So Mac the, Jones should have got it, and then yes. he for sure would have had his job yeah, back from Bailey Zappi. Is that why he got the second opinion? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, for sure. Uh, one for concern this week: Cole Komet. Uh, popped up with a thigh issue, didn't practice today, correct? Yes. Um, so that is definitely one to watch. He kind of had two breakout weeks with Justin Fields back to back, you know, our man Justin Fields. Yes. Uh, David Njoku hopefully is back this week from the ankle. Uh, didn't practice is, today. Didn't yep. practice today. Uh, he really needs to be. I mean, we're, we've been talking about talk about the ends. tight end landscape. He made it easier for me because there's a lot of leagues I do, like you, Justin. He's that's yeah. the one position where I do like your quarterback move. I can't, if I'm, not, I, I know you want to get a Kelsey, you want to get an Andrews, but like, First round pick, I'm just thinking quarterback, wide receiver, running back. I always just think those three. Like, it's hard to do tight end. But, like, Jajoku, you you got, like, at the 10th, 11th, 12th round this year, and he was a top five, eight um, uh, tight end. That made me think I was doing okay in tight end. And once you yeah. look at, like you said, now you're looking at Jelani Woods. Mm. <laughs> and stuff like that. Kylan like, Granson. Yes. Yeah, so that's it, gross. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, I could, so he's another player that's on the same team that I have Jamar Chase. And they're just squatting on my bench. They're yeah. literally just sucking all my bench spots up, and I'm I'm struggling there. But I'd love to have him come back and play play football. That'd be great. Oh, for sure. That's tough. Uh, Devontae Parker could be coming back and playing football soon. Uh, MCL sprain two weeks ago, three weeks ago at this point. Um, I think it was two weeks ago. They're they like the most boring. Week. Can I? I don't know if we can make like a poll. Are they the most boring? Besides Stevenson, are they the most boring fantasy team in the last three years? Maybe. Mm, yes. Yes. <laughs> Like, I know when yes. Tom Brady and stuff was there, like I, that's fine. Like you have the best quarterback, you got Randy Moss, like that's fine. But like Dave, even when Damian Harris was like a top fifteen running back last year, so boring to watch. Yeah. And like I love Stevenson, like, but three like, yards of carry, three yards of carry. They never break anything big because they're conservative play calling. Mac Jones just like, hitting the underneath stuff. Like the Patriots had a bye last week. Like I felt like they played. That was the most <laughs> like, exciting. Yeah, like, the, mo- that was the, the most, most exciting I see week is, like, of we never, week. We yeah. never know they play, and all of a sudden we see like a Matt Judon sack because he does it nine times a game. So you're like, oh, Judon. Okay, the Patriots are playing and they're doing well defensively. The That's best, all I know. Best highlights are defense. It's never a great, yeah. great sign, you know. No, for sure. But Devontae Parker, he did have a couple games this year when um, Myers was out, and then just being, you know, when Myers is double covered, Parker can do something if you know the game plan opens up for him. <laughs> uh, we'll get to the leftovers too, but Dallas Goddard leaving a big hole. Um, in the Eagles hole for stole passing game. Yeah. Hole for hole for Jack stole. <laughs> hey, uh, he's on IR with a shoulder injury. Uh, best case would be he avo- avoids the avulsion fracture. Uh, the ligament pulling off the back of bone is from pro football docs. Um, if he does four to six weeks, but if that fracture is there, then he might be done for the what season. What a terrible so. injury. Yeah. Like number one, hundred percent. The face your mask turned around like the right. torque that it took to do that. No wonder there's, there's probably an avulsion fracture. I don't know if we're getting medical <laughs> here, but like, come on. Like that was such force to take him down like that. You don't even call the penalty. He gets hurt on the play. He's landed on my two guys with his yes, arm at the weird the, angle. Uh, exactly. Yeah. got, you know, so, uh, you know, whatever extended. I think there. the refs so, should be held liable and like have to pay the medical bills. They, they, uh, <laughs> for, for Juju too. I like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for Juju yeah. after he got knocked out on the field. What, what do you that do that? Don't, I would throw more flags. Yeah. I would throw like, I would yeah. just throw flags like crazy. Like once you see that, I'm like, how do you take the flag off the field? Like I want to know mean? what the conversation was whenever they all huddled together and were like, actually, you pick it, it up. It'll be hilarious. It wasn't that bad. I know one <laughs> a scenario, Jake, I remember when you were doing the injuries too way, yeah. way back in the day. I remember Zach Miller's knee injury. Yep. Crazy. He caught a touchdown on that play. His knee literally 360. Never There's, played again. It's a knee dislocation where you hit an artery, basically. Yeah. So you, they he, have to get there, to the hospital quick. There because was you're thoughts lose for his career. A lot of circulation. Yes, yeah. His life. So um, he caught a touchdown. They took a touchdown out because he dropped the ball because his knee hurt. Literally, you can see, like, they watched yeah. the replay eight yep. times of, like, you see him, like, scream in pain and drop the ball. And then they're like, he didn't possess it. It helped diagnose. I mean, but I, mean I guess it, they're not yeah. wrong, though. Like, no. I mean, that's the ball. <laughs> like, I'm not yeah, yeah. I don't think anyone. No, that's what I'm saying. Do you think, do you think the other coach down. is going like, oh, come on. How can you give that to him? Do <laughs> like, you remember Alave this year? <laughs> when heartless. he didn't even know what side of the field he was on. But they yeah. gave him the touchdown, though. That's true. Come on. That's yeah, yeah, everybody. Exactly. Make a I'm so about you. Yeah. new rule. If you touch the ball in the end zone and get hurt, six points. What do you think? Like, no, like, no, I'm just saying. Enough to not drop it. Not even saying if the injury caused the play to be incomplete. It's like the ground can't cause a fumble. Your injury can't cause the incompletion. There you go. 
I'll oh, take wow. it. I give Jojo, I, like it. I give Juju a catch on that one. Jojo That's and good. Juju. And <laughs> give him the yards and uh, <laughs> look for the stat correction uh, <laughs> on the uh, in your fantasy league. Yeah, <laughs> call Troy Vincent. Dude. We got a new penalty. And duds. All right, let's uh, let's get in here and uh, let me just go first because I'm already talking. Why not? Uh, uh, is I, it because it's a Packer too? It's Come because on. it's a Packer as well. It's but here's excited. the thing: I didn't initially. I wasn't initially going to go here. Like I wanted, and no one else went with the guy that I thought could have been worthy. Let's do but him I, then. Then do him too. Why as well? No, I'll do. I'll I'll just mention him on honorable mention. No, yeah, you don't need to go. Cole deep, Komet. Yeah. Cole Komet's worthy of of a dude. Yes, I is. think he like you said. We, right. we, now he's on the injury report, so we don't know what's going right. on there. But I feel like he was he was dude worthy. But that being said, Christian Watson, pretty good at football this week. Just this week, though. Uh, and it, I guess this coincidentally is the one week since week one. It's the only week he's actually made it through an entire football game. So he backflipped. Uh, he's feeling good. We've yeah, he finally did it. It's our first podcast ever, Justin I know. and Jacob. So if you can figure out who's the number one in that team, you'll be good. Yeah, I know and it's week he, ten, but if people or, are losing yeah, their yeah. minds right now, he was number one waiver claim. Like every article you saw, it, he was Correct. it was a big week. Eight targets, four four catches, uh, one hundred and seven yards, three touchdowns, three touchdowns on four catches. Probably unsustainable. I was just saying that in my head. That's I'm <laughs> shouting in my head, but I like I don't want to yeah. ruin your dude. But yeah, that's, no, that's no, no, no. <laughs> it's definitely unsustainable. However, right. the eight targets is promising, and and Christian Watson is the dude that is going to get the deep shots. And honestly, if he just gets a good cross route, he can outrun a lot of people. So it's not. It's he not was out of the question for, this. for him. To, like, yeah. He was the highest one out of there. Dobbs has just figured it out because like that was just a good draft pick, to be honest. A lot of people probably should have. He was hey, a talent from the get at Nevada. But this is the kid that Rodgers wanted. Like, I don't know I don't know how much say they get in the draft room. Obviously, he's young, so they didn't re- weren't really thinking of Rodgers full time, right? Because he's not going to yeah. be throwing him 90% of his career, right? But like this is a kid that uses the Rodgers skill set because he, he continues to get open when Rodgers Roger still moves around very well. So when he's in the pocket a little bit moving around and then all of a sudden Watson just skates around, Watkins can't do that. Watkins can't move. He's ancient. <laughs> so Lazard is good. Lazard do it, but he's Lazard's a good second. He's like, yeah, he's, he's a, great, first, a good possession guy, guy, really. Yeah, he's not exactly. Like a, yeah. Like that play you got the the win the game. I just said we, I know I'm talking about you. Yeah, we, we did it. <laughs> yeah. But um like that Lazard catch, that's what he does. You know, he gets the right spots, he finds the right um, you know, safety blankets and he figures yeah. it out. But like you said, Watson figured you can he you take advantage of him and you get on like on a team that doesn't have a good second, doesn't have a good third cornerback. Watson's gonna beat them every game. He's so fluid the way he runs. It's taken him a long time, but that's what he looked like in college. Like he, he like you saw those touchdowns, he skated by the cornerback easily. Yeah, yeah that so third fast. one I know. A goal line, you know, he right. got he got himself open in the yeah. end. The first, you know, the long ones, that's all Watson. You know, that's, uh, one one stat. Don't look for context on this, but I'm just going to say it because this sounds really good. No context. Yeah. In games where Christian Watson plays 70 percent or more snaps, wide receiver two on the season. Just saying. So it's been like one, one game. One game. Yeah. Hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> wide receiver right. two. You already said since week one he played a whole game. So there you go. <laughs> just don't 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 pair that together. The context, so, kind of. Yeah. Automatic. So wide if he plays two, over seventy percent of snaps against the Tennessee, you're predicting He's wide, receiver wide receiver two. two? Yes. I like it. That's, that's what the stats say. That's, a, <laughs> that's what they say. Numbers don't lie. So. Oh. All right, my dude of the week. I feel like he just deserved a shout out because he's in there blocking most of the time. Nick Westbrook Akine. For the Titans. Is it a Keeney? A Keeney? See, I was I waiting for that. I was waiting for you to say it. And I, honestly, it sounded good. So I'm not going to knock it. I Keep just going. let it roll. I'm not the person that should be correcting no, anybody yeah. with names, but <laughs> I think right it's me. a Keeney. I don't know. Five catches, 119, and two touchdowns against the Broncos, who are the best defense in the league right now. So Correct. Incredible, not sustainable. Don't start any Titans in your lineup, wide receiver wise, but just felt like he deserved a shout out. That you know? one catch was nice. He moved, he silky around everybody. Yeah. So. They Some have no Darby, so they're they're definitely struggling on the second part. But yeah. it's it's Sertain versus everybody versus the world. Anyone who's Sertain's right? garden yeah. is getting shut down. So yeah, so then it's everybody else. Yeah, so that's what uh, Keeney was able to do. All right, dude us up, Taylor. Um, dude us up. I got um. I'm about to say someone else's dude. Uh, C D <laughs> Lamb. All right. Um, we reference him in our DFS article. Um, pretty much what doubled up his um uh, prop more than doubled right. up his prop. It's like sixty plus. Um, 150, two touchdowns, 11 catches. I mean, Prescott back. I think everybody's been waiting for this game. I've been kind of disappointed with him. And I think I'm, I maybe have came to the conclusion. I know this game is big, but I don't know if this is completely, um, uh, I don't know, like changed my mind. I just don't know if he's a number dominant, number one receiver yet. Um, Prescott needs that. I think Cooper 
I don't know. He needed Cooper to get open because Lamb was much better last year with Cooper there. I understand Gallup is nowhere near what he needs to be, so that's a lot of attention is on Lamb. They get more weapons. I mean, Dalton Schultz getting a little healthier. He looked good. Pollard yep. is dynamic in every facet of the game. So keep Elliott on the bench. Yeah, um, Ezekiel yeah. Elliott is just a guy that runs somewhere. <laughs> Uh, good for him. Forward. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make it sound like yeah. a good explosive no, offense, yeah, yeah. and I want to drop his yeah. name in there. He runs no, yeah. somewhere. But yeah, they, they, he, it's Westbrook. I mean, uh, what's it called uh, Westbrook? See, I'm saying your guy. Um, Lamb is really good with uh, Prescott. He They have a good connection. They figured it out today. Going into the playoffs, uh, you know, Scott Fish playoffs, all year, the playoffs in a couple of weeks, you need this connection to go be- get better, better, and better. And like you said, Schultz with the safety blanket. Uh, Dallas is looking good, but this, the key part for them to go forward is the play of CD Lamb. Yeah, OBJ Jones that team. What does that do to the dynamic wide receiver dynamic? Um, nothing, because I don't even know how far Dallas is going in the playoffs. Because that's where Odell will play. Yeah, so he needs to go to a team that doesn't need him until like it actually matters, like the Bills. Like Bills, yeah. like they won't even need him until the second or third game, playoff game. <laughs> like you don't like a team like a Dallas team. I feel like you're going to be needed the first playoff game. Like I don't want to be like needed that quickly. That's asking too much of him. It's yeah. a February ACL. He's not. He's not ready. He's not 100%. If I'm not ready for the season, you want me to re- be ready for the first playoff game, which is like a couple weeks after the season? Yeah. That doesn't necessarily make sense. So. This Odell um, Beckham no, but you're thing, right, I hope though. this isn't... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. just trying to figure this out. It feels weird. Like I know it's only the second time this has happened, but I feel like it's a, we're, we're establishing a trend where it's going to be like... Not saying Odell Beckham's going to get hurt again, but he's like the late season trophy that uh, everyone's trying to... Just, and this is two years in so a row. So they're going to force right? him like, back into action and force an injury, probably. You know, if yeah, and who knows? Early, and we do this again uh, next year. <laughs> yeah. like I'm not trying to say, Jeez. like, oh, he's going to get another ACL, but, like, dude, the easiest thing to get when you get that kind of stuff is a hamstring or something when you come back. When you so, try to ramp up too quick. Yeah, yeah, so you saw Deshaun Jackson. He couldn't even last a quarter. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying... That's, that's inevitable. This, yeah, yeah, of course. But I'm um, like Beckham. This is two straight ACL recovery seasons, so he needs to work it back when he needs to, not when anybody else tells him to. Okay, right, Justin, who's uh, your dad? Let's get to Duds. I don't want to kick a man when he's down. All right, but, but, but that's I'm going to exactly do it. What you're doing. I put the boots on. I'm stomping him out. Uh, Cooper what is Cup. What is D E D? What is D E D? Dead. D E D. Dead. Uh, it's because we've decided he's probably <laughs> not coming <laughs> back. Probably not coming back this season because a the Rams aren't going to be playing for anything meaningful, and and b. That it's just ha- the hangover is crazy, up. huh? That's a crazy hangover. It's tough. Like you need but like I, a bacon sandwich or like something. It. Get that, get it out of your system. <laughs> I don't know, man. Worth. I, I'd be. I, I think it's worth it, right? I feel like they'd do it again, right? It's absolutely worth. That's yeah, why the hangovers are it. there. Uh, you had a good so, night, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Cooper Cup, three receptions. Obviously, there's no Stafford. Stafford seems to be the engine uh, that feeds Cooper Cup. I, Cooper Cup's still good at football. Really, really good at football. Uh, I'm, I'm calling uh, the penalty on you. He had John Wolford throwing to him. What is he supposed to do? He's still, he's, you know what I mean? Like, I, he's not, that it just shows me that he's not QB proof. And a lot of wide receivers are. Like a lot Hopkins? of top tier, big name wide receivers, somebody else can just pop who's in. QB, who's QB proof? I don't know. I just think of, like you said, DeAndre Hopkins just seems like the guy Hopkins. that, like, any, there was a, a never ending rotation in Houston of just whatever. And he was still doing stuff. So I don't know. It just. Colt McCoy played this week, right? Yep. Yeah. What did okay. DeAndre Hopkins have? Better than Cooper right. Cup. Like I bet he had more than negative one yards. Ten for eight. Ten You're for right. Yeah. There you go. Cole McCoy. Cole McCoy can sustain. Cole McCoy. John Wolford can't have to talk about. John yeah. Wolford cannot. We talked about the offensive line issues. I, I don't know about that, Dud. You're, I'm you're calling him a dud, bro. I'm you're kicking, kicking him when man. he's down. I'm taking advantage We're of this opportunity. Site. Actually, we got a, maybe a two-man podcast next week or something. It's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> we need to put a suspension. <laughs> Look, he, listen, he wasn't injured the whole game, all right? I don't Let's know be how honest. to the show, though. He, right. left, he left the game, and he had more receiving yards when he left the game than when he was in it. Think about like that. Should have not played. There I like you go. That. Should have just had it out. <laughs> Think yeah, about that. Should have faked that. an illness. Stamp that. See, <laughs> yeah. you got to lead with a better argument there, there you bud. Go. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. That's it. That's no, my He's dad. a dud uh, for not faking an illness and enjoy, avoiding John Wolford. Yes. 100%. Okay. Anyway, I agree with that. Because, like, get better. Like, if, no, Get if well you heard soon. that, like if uh, like Stephon Diggs, like if you if I heard like, oh, Josh Allen's not gonna play, you gotta freaking you know do with a uh, Case Keenum. I'm be like, I love him, but not against Vikings. I'm, I'm he would have loved that revenge game. Yeah, but. I know. But even then, I'm like, oh, I gotta get hurt, maybe. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> you it's know, a like, fake hamstring. Yeah, like, first quarter, or whatever. Like they got like the players that if you say it happened like twice, I think in this season where players have been just pulled out of games mid game for illness. I've seen it I'm like, like what that times. is. I even asked the, <laughs> I asked the doc is. about it. I was just like, what is going on? He's like, you know, mm. I don't know. All right. <laughs> <It's a weird laughs> one. Jacob, go for your dud. Uh, Brandon Cooks. I'm like mad I used my season long dud on Gabe Davis because I was looking at Brandon Cooks this week and he's Ooh. he's not it. DNP personal the week before because he just doesn't want to be there and they didn't trade him. So I don't you blame him. I don't yeah. blame him for it. it. You're playing for the Texans. You're not going to be there every week, you know. 
But last week, seven targets, four catches for 37. I know it's Davis Mills so into him. But it seems like they're turned into a, just a Damian Pierce offense, which is not very good for Brandon Cooks. It's good for me and then anybody else yeah. who has a Damian Pierce shares. But yeah, that is it, it's rough to see the Texans do. Here's the thought: he was just so automatic about. last year. It's yeah. just like everyone drafted him high because he's so consistent. Yeah. And then now he he hasn't had a game over 100 this year. He's been wide receiver 52. So that's that's not what you what you drafted him to be. If you ever if you're betting on a Brandon Cooks game, you're betting on a Davis Mills game. And that's a mm. double. That's a parlay. Yeah. You probably that's shouldn't be betting. Some, yeah. Yeah. Who's stacking that in DFS? I I'll, I'll try it this Scott week. Fish, okay? <laughs> try to let, let I, have, how I have that in Scott Fish, okay? I do. But it was like a back. It was my other stack. The like they, stack. To be fair, they took uh, his C, though. They took his C off his chest. and you're Because you he was complaining. Yeah. Worse. Yeah. He was yeah. complaining about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you I'm not playing well if they snatch my sheet. They C took his C chest. card. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> God. Stop. <laughs> All right, Taylor, you're done. Uh, my dud is Kamara. Uh, eight for 26. He doesn't even get a first name. Oh, uh, Alvin. Yeah. There Alvin and the, chipmunks. and the chipmunks. Yeah. Um, he sucks. Uh, eight for 26, uh, 3.3 <laughs> rush yards, uh, rush attempts, whatever the math says, uh, three catches for 19 yards. Um, he's luckily he is sustained by his receiving ability because holy crap, he's horrible at rushing. He has one rushing touchdown all season. I think maybe a little more than that, great. but I don't think it's just one. He had two receiving all those. I believe in this in the same game against the Raiders a couple weeks ago. So, that's easy to score against us. And that's us mean like the Packers for Justin. Uh, yeah, no, it's fair. Ter- terrible. He's He's been a top two or, um, back. I know he was um a little thought differently because um, he's going to slide a little bit because of the um pending legal issues. Um, But they didn't, they ended up getting delayed. So it became an actual steal for some people because right. he did fall. Not really. I believe <laughs> Dennis Allen played. C- give us Jameis. Come on. I'm tired of seeing. Andy yeah, what is I this, agree bro? with that. No, I think that's, there's something going on there that we don't know. Um, like James is fully healthy now. He, he yeah. might be. He might even be good off the ACL. He's like, nothing. He's Let him better. just do the press conferences. I just want to hear some Winston <laughs> that's quotes. That's true. Dude. You're really robbing this? us of Winston yeah. quotes, and that's the biggest. That's the <laughs> most egregious penalty. He's a fantasy superstar. I just don't know if he's team good. Um, uh, a question. He, Alvin I think Kamara. He lives the team. I think he lives the offense. What? So Alvin, Alvin Kamara, Damian Pierce. Right now. Oh. Um, I'll season. take Camara. I'll take Camara. I just don't like to te- like. There's eventually there's gonna be it's games. So week Texans, to week, uh, the, the right. Saints O line is really banged up too. I don't really like. Is that what the reason? The I mean, were we blaming the line? I mean, it's got to be right. I mean, Camara's not Texans bad. Camara's been good. good either, he, Kamara so. hasn't been good all season though, so it's yeah. got to be more than the line. Mm. Uh, the line is what is of recent though, for sure. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna take Pierce. By the way, uh, out of that, I think I'm taking Pierce over, That's fine. over Kamara. But, I might keep Camara. Uh, just he gets players get favorable playoff matchups. So I think Kamar has that. He has an easy last three weeks. I need to double check that. But. Pierce just gets the load, though. This man gets the full load. He gets. I mean, if they're going to give him thirty carries a game, yeah. <laughs> well, wait. Watch out. You know Benjamin's now on the oh, team. That'll Watch break out. sneaky. That, that is sneaky. Whoever held you know Benjamin or picked him up on the waiver wire, congratulations. Because is it? I think he can work into that offense. It's not this week. <laughs> so but. yeah, pause on that. Uh, congratulations uh, for what exactly? What, yeah, uh, who, what did you win? Do what, anything on that team? <laughs> what is on your waiver wire that you're excited about these days? Well, let's so, well, here. How about this? What, let's go to leftovers. This? Let's go to leftovers and we'll find out. How's that? All right. All right. All right. I'm gonna show you some math real quick. Yeah. <laughs> the leftovers. Now we're in the safe space. We can talk about what's on the waiver wire that may or may not be better than Eno Benjamin backing up. Uh, Rex Burkhead, who backs up Damian Pierce. That's what I'm trying to say. So if you lose <laughs> Pierce, you go to Burkhead, unsmi- like unhappy face. Trying to make it really easy for people. Yeah, unhappy right. face. Pierce, you lose. You put in Benjamin, like a flat face. You know, like I don't like know. Pierce. Yeah, it's this is this is the descriptions <laughs> people come here for. This oh, is I'm it. just trying to say like it's a it's a pure runner you're replacing with a pure runner. Burkhead can't replace Pierce if Pierce ever goes down. That's fair. So you just have to get a running back that like like a Deion Jackson. You just need someone just like chills on the side that doesn't just pass catch, like right. a Hines. So you're okay. So you okay? So my question is, if Damian Pierce goes down, who's the pickup? Is it you? So you're saying you know Benjamin's the dude? Yeah, because remember we talked about. I don't know if we said this on the podcast or we talked on the phone about this. Benjamin is only good with volume. He gets one okay. carry, two carries with Connor, then he ain't nothing. So if you go, yeah. if Pierce does go down, Benjamin's gonna get like you said. If they're transitioning to a run heavy offense with all Pierce, they're not gonna change that with Benjamin. Like, oh, we're gonna throw with 53 times with Mills next game. Like, no, we're gonna That's go 25 carries with Benjamin. Okay, so, so I'm watching I, Jacob right now. Uh, TikTok, you can find us yes. on TikTok right now at Six Score. Uh, right now, we are recording this on Wednesday evening, East Coast. 
Uh, they're on the West Coast, so it's not evening for them. I'm sure it's like you know afternoon or something, something weird. I don't yeah, know, early different. evening. I don't know. Yeah, when whatever. Does that start like four o'clock, three, five o'clock. Yeah, thirty one percent okay for um, leftovers. Yeah, well, well, okay. Thirty? You say thirty one? That's a that's a heap. I don't that's know. Hefty. That's, that's pretty hefty. hefty. But wait, yeah, but let me tie let me tie this in now uh, while, while he brings that up. But let me tie this in. We just talked about you know Benjamin now going to the Texans. There's now a, a gaping hole at backup behind very injury prone James Conner. That's a leftover score right there. If you're looking at Keontae Ingram, who hasn't been horrible when he's seen the football field, he's effective. That's that's definitely true. Yes. So you know Benjamin or Keontae Ingram on your team, if just as a flyer. Um, Without Kyler Murray, I, I don't know how good either of those are, but yeah, <laughs> Kyler Murray's going to be back after the bye. So is Hollywood okay. Brown, hopefully. So that offense might get a boost. I I agree. James Conner, he if he picks up another rib injury, he's not playing another four weeks. So they have a Biden after the Mexico game. Yes. Hollywood Brown, I read, has a chance to play in the Mexico mm. game. Yes. This will be his first it's only he only needs one. He just got activated. So there's a chance he does play it. It's not a one week absence for him. Do you play him against the Niners if he's active? Who's your number one corner? Ward. You got Ward on Hopkins. Yeah, Brown's gonna crush your second guy. Yeah, Lenore. I would probably. Yeah, they, sorry, your guys, McCoy. your guys, Niners. I, I always, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Don't say with Colt McCoy like that's a that's a slander. All right, Colt uh, McCoy. We just talk about how he sustained yeah. DeAndre Hopkins. I'm just asking so how does it, I guess my question for that now that we're this, again we're not talking about leftovers right now, but this we were on the Cardinals. How does how will Marquise Brown's return affect a? I guess Marquise Brown's production because it's not you're not going to get what happened in the beginning. And is it gonna is it gonna negatively affect Hopkins? Like, there's gonna be a level out right there, right? Or is catches. it just a pick and choose? I think the yardage is the same because he's a speed guy. So I think it'll help him get the deep shots because, um, like, so those little like six catches, eighty six yards that Brown was getting every single week, probably not. But if you get those like four catches for fifty five and a touchdown, those are probably more accurate because he was doing the Hopkins role, intermediates like getting open, you know, finding the soft spots in the on the defensive side. But Hopkins does that with with ease. So Brown can now focus on getting beat and beating the number two guy and the number three guy, the lesser cornerbacks on your team, and that will open up. It's definitely going to be less yardage and less value for sure, but you might get more touchdowns. I'm trying to find a team to compare it to, but I feel like are, are we going to get something like the Eagles, like with A.J. Brown and, and Devonta Smith? Like, I mean, I just that... think Marquise Brown did, kind of did both on the Ravens, so he can do both on the Cardinals. Right, I'm just saying. Like from Brown output, didn't have anybody with him on the. Yeah, this this talking. definitely. Injuries, I don't think this but... is. I don't. I just don't feel like this is going to be like Tua, Tua sustaining Hill and Waddle. Like you know what I mean. Like it's going to be. I don't think he could like do a, both. I completely like a choose, agree. Right? Like yeah. every week, it's going to be like who's going to get it. Like I don't think. So you got to go by matchup then. If you see yeah. a team that's down their second and third corner, go after Brown, right? Because Hopkins might get locked up by the number one guy. But if is you there, see a number, sorry, is there on. a website you could go to to find out maybe who? Huh? Who? I don't know. There could, I feel like there might be like a, to see the matches, the mismatches, and who might be. Uh, I feel like there's a website. Um, I don't know. I can't. It's not ringing a bell right now. Jacob, oh yeah, sixscore.com. Oh, that's the one. S i c score. You took too long for that joke. I was yeah, I know. Like, I was yeah, trying to sorry. set it up, but I was like, am I gonna have to say it myself? I don't know. Yeah, uh, sixscore.com. Uh, you can yeah, s i c score.com. You can get all that details. Uh, the six scores page, unmatched. It's awesome. Uh, you can see literally. Position versus position matchup and their and their defensive offensive scores. It's amazing. You should check it out. And uh, yeah, any I don't know. It just it's actually a useful tool. Like I'm not just saying that because uh, it's you were presented you're paid by and everything. Yeah. No, but legitimately, uh, when 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 I don't know. Like 20 years from now, when I'm down the line, I'm still coming back. It just not that I'm I might not be working. I'm thinking I'm going to retire in 20 years. I'm not. I'm you're not gonna be, I'm going to be sitting on my couch DFSing every day. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, come on. Why did I say twenty years? Like, I'm like I'm going to be retiring <laughs> at, in you're twenty. Old, you're you're gonna, an old man in your head. That's why I may never retire. Yeah. So what do you think? You're, what do you think? This is like sixty five. <laughs> you have your own house already. Like you're just going. Well, <laughs> come on. No, I don't right. know. See, I'm thinking like that's a that'd be a pretty early retirement. If I'd be happy to retire in twenty years. But either way, I'm coming back to sixscore.com to get these these awesome de- awesome deets. I have a couple I didn't people know it's to add. A financial podcast, so run us oh. run us back to the leftovers. <laughs> yeah, yeah I got a couple to your list. Um, I have um two that aren't here. Uh, Darius Slayton. He's at 31. You guys said it was hefty. Um, it is a little. Um, Wandell isn't as good as I thought, maybe. He's still decent. But, um, rookie, I think, though. Rookie, though. Yeah, he showed yeah, okay. just, he's enough for I just think a rookie. He's getting, sh- he's getting shut down by people now. So maybe people actually think he's a decent threat. So then um, he's getting um, not as big opportunities. Um, Slayton's looking good right Slayton's now. Slayton's been there forever. So he yeah. knows the offense. He has trust with Dan Jones. I mean, it took a lot of time to get to him because there was a lot of injuries before he saw the field. But Well, it's because they spent money to get away from him. 
they're like, oh, we stole Shepard. They, they spent like absorbent amount of money on Galladay. On Galladay they yeah. brought they um they you know they had Ingram before. There just wasn't um options for him there. Now that like everybody's gone, they're like, all right, maybe we'll use Slayton. He was also um almost traded at the trade deadline too. He was an option. To get, they just wanted to get rid of him. They got rid of Tony obviously instead. But like even Tony was taken away just playing time. You know now that he's there. I mean he's looking good. He's a deep threat and he he just has problems catching the ball, which is his job. Oh, so he'll, he'll, yeah, <laughs> the old, old MVS disease is what he's yes, got there. Yeah, MVS <laughs> did okay though. We talked about that in the podcast last week. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, another one I want to add is uh, Ben Skaronic. Um, he's Cooper Cup's replacement to a T. He um, runs the same routes. Very good route runner. He's a poor, 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 poor man's Hunter Refro. I added one extra poor because I'm a Raiders fan. So, but uh, he's decent. Very good with his. Uh, good, he catches with his hands, unlike his teammate. Um, so he's going to be really, really good. For them, I feel I like think. I feel like based on how Hunter Renfro has been this been this year that that was a slam on scrawny neck right there. Uh, yeah, it was a little. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was rough. Um, because Hunter's been terrible this year. To completely agree, but he's actually he's good in my eyes always. Yeah, um, he's obviously a lot of opportunity. <laughs> That's really the the theme of this week's leftovers is new opportunity. Via That's how it all should be, right? That's how you, yeah, how you play. Chair, yeah. Yeah, via cuts, via injuries. Obviously, we talked about Keontae Ingram. There's an opportunity there uh, as as a handcuff for an injury prone running back. We mentioned Jack Stoll. Yes. Yeah. I did my uh, little rhyme. Yeah, my little rhyme. Yeah. Your little rhyme earlier, which was amazing. Three uh, percent owned, but he's somebody that again, tight end landscape. Keep an eye he, on. He worries me a little because he's very blocking based. Yeah, but, um, that's scary. He, <laughs> but he did have a couple. He had a catch I saw wait before Goddard got involved. He might get a touchdown or two in the red zone. Uh, he, uh, you know, um. Hurts his little, does a little Tebow, Statue of Liberty, high jump, little, like, yeah. I'm not Statue of Liberty, you know, what he did earlier with Goddard. So he might get a touchdown. He's good to have, like we said, like, we literally, the theme of this podcast, tight ends suck, right? Yeah. He said that. I don't know if he said it that if you just yeah. If you get a random touchdown, that's, that's well, better. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like, yeah. you've had most time. If this yeah. was any other team, we probably wouldn't even be thinking twice. This guy probably would be off everybody's radar, but the Eagles offense is, is pretty They rely good. on the tight end, and they rely it's on the tight good. end a lot. Yeah. Yeah, they rely on the tight end a lot, so they they'll be maybe using Stoll. I remember back in the day when Goddard and Ertz both got hurt, they were using Richard Rodgers, former Packer, mm, former big boy, yeah, and right. he and he was doing good. Like he was fantasy relevant, like four catches, fifty, and maybe a touchdown. So Hertz, I still think can't throw well. Um, he has been doing very well this year, but if you look at his touchdowns, I think he only has seven this year. Like I know, I just don't think that's sustainable. If you can lock down one aspect of his game, and he sucks, I feel like so. But uh, but uh, fantasy wise, you can't argue his talent. Um, yeah, if your bench if your bench has a hole, slide in stole. That's what I'm saying. That's Dr. Cool. Seuss, like Doctor Doctor Seuss, like Justin, it. Rob Doyle. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, another one. Uh, we're looking at Tristan Ebner, uh, Khalil hey, Herbert, backing up. Now, see, this is we're talking bears. up names now. Yeah, you know that's what I'm saying. So Bears yeah, running backs. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> we got. I don't got, know any uh, Tristans. <laughs> We got old reliable uh, David Montgomery, and when I say reliable, he'll get you five fantasy points. Yeah, um, old, Khalil old Herbert, <laughs> all yeah. the explosion uh, to me it came from Khalil Herbert. Like a big play, you were going to get it from him. He's now on IR, so right. there's an opportunity there for somebody to come in, and he's going to get work. We're not going to see David Montgomery get 80, 90 percent of snaps. It's just not going to happen. I had one thought it, on that yeah. is like never put your star players as a kicker punt return. I feel like I know he's not a star, but like he's definitely an integral part of that team. They like the yeah. one A one B one now, and I saw that. I was just like, wow, hip injury, a kickoff. I'm like, that's stupid. That sucks. You know, like we're <laughs> excuse me, sorry, we're past the days of having like uh, Dante Halls and the Cordell Pattersons running kick off returns. That's not the game anymore. They already fixed. They already met. Like I, I want to say messed it up because I like the kick returns, but they like they pushed it so like they changed the rules so it's not really dynamic anymore. It's just like kick it out of bounds to start at the 20, 25, whatever. And let's just figure, you know, the game out. Like, so like those kind of players, like let's just get someone that can kick the ball and not make yeah. a mistake. Talking <laughs> to you, about, talking yeah. to you, LA Rams, putting right. my, uh, my little stud Kyron Williams, uh, first week. It's there you go. Yeah. Come but on, trying to get that's, derailed that's my different. whole season. He got, he got so much garbage time opportunity. Yeah. Great. They're trying he to get really did. Off. Okay. To be fair. Yeah. Now we're, we're talking, right? Yes. 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 I, <laughs> we went the whole game and I was like, all right, Dang, he's really not going to get any work. This is actually depressing. But then he had the last yards couple scrimmage. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> he yep. like outperformed everybody in the yeah. last few minutes. That's got to be something. Some chances this week. We'll see. That's what I'm saying. That's got to be. We're, we're you building. don't start him yet, but he can get some momentum. We can, we can so. leave Ronnie at the river. Don't bring him over here. <laughs> I don't know. We're, so we're in a 14 team four flex league. I might find a spot for my boy. I don't know. Who Kyron did that Williams. league? Who did that league? That's ours. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
Did yeah, you forget who made that. all that? I forgot it was four flex. flex. That's Oof. insane. <laughs> <laughs> We're all out here struggling in that league. Yeah. Uh, uh, so also <laughs> wide receiver, uh, Denver Broncos, Kendall Hinton. Obviously, Jerry Judy. We don't know what's going on with that. That's yeah. are we I'd expect at least maybe a week. I don't know. It just it's still really up in the air. I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, as we lose Taylor's face here on the on the video podcast, which you can watch on our YouTube channel, uh, search for Sports Injury Central on YouTube. Uh, you can see all of our beautiful faces, but while he works to I, get that back, I can we should still it. He's be able to hear him. Confused at his oh, computer. we can still hear him. Yeah, yeah. the still microphones still work. But the Wi-Fi uh, went out. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It happens. It happens to sure, blame only, the Wi-Fi. only you somehow. Uh, <laughs> no, it's uh, so Kendall Hinton is somebody that could be on your radar. Two percent owned. Another another one that's just like we're talking leftovers. Like I said, if there's an open spot at the end of your roster, stop rostering two kickers and two defenses. That's gross. What are you doing? Some people are doing that. What's going on with that? I have an admission. I got two defenses in my home league because I'm mm. in second place. That's and disgusting. Stocking up for mm. the playoffs, but I'm probably going to drop. Okay. Points, I mean, if so you think you got the stack, a spill up, spill the beans. What's the good? What's the good playoff combo stack that you're that you're holding on to? And B, I got Tennessee and Tampa Bay just because I oh think they're both decent. They're both decent, and yeah. they both yeah. have decent playoff matchups. But All right. okay. I mean, there's nothing on the waiver. If what am I? Uh, what am I have you heard Campbell? of Jack Stoll? You maybe, got a hole for Stoll. You have a hole for Stoll. You just said you have a hole for Stoll. Just say I, I, I don't need a. That's, if I if somebody gets hurt, I'll go to the Stoll hole. But. It says I'm on the backstage. The purpose. host needs to put me on. By the way, uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't see it right now, but it's all right. We'll keep. We'll okay. keep moving. Uh, leftovers. Anything else for the greater good? I know Taylor, you you've been adding to the list here, but is there anything else? I added two. No, that's it for me. Okay, yeah. let's Getting let's thinner, move on every week. to shootout or drought. And I'm actually ashamed of myself. Why have I not made an intro for this yet? What is going on, guys? Just hold my right. paycheck until I do that. Yeah, we all just right? gotta lock you in a closet, and then you're not allowed to come out until you got shootout or drought. Yeah, you next go, week. Like, old Wester on it, like. Oh yeah, hundred yeah. percent. There's so much opportunity. Like, yeah. You ever have you ever heard? Uh, what what am I what am I thinking of? The little like, uh, what is it? The little hay barrel that just blows in the wind. Why why can I think? Leave of this? him hanging. Leave him hanging. No, what come on. Now I feel like Tumbleweed. an idiot right now. <laughs> Tumbleweed. Tumbleweed. Are you serious, dude? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I forgot about that. I could hear the sounds. I hear a little like These East desert. Coasters, they don't know. <laughs> you guys got tumbleweed rolling down the street in San yes. Diego? It's very windy today. We got tumbleweeds. <laughs> different uh, different types desert. of grass over in California, maybe. <laughs> no, that's true. That's true. Uh, all right, let's move on to shootout or droughts, and uh, let's run it down. What do we What do we got over here? Bears, Falcons. Uh, there's that's two teams in the league that are constantly in shootouts, maybe three. Bears, Lions, maybe the Seahawks, because they have bad defenses and incredible offenses. And now Tyreek Woolen figured it out, so maybe not a Seahawks as much. Yeah. Yeah. But um, any game the Bears in, I'm watching because Justin Fields is just a man electric. on fire right now. He just yeah. no he's, one can stop him. He might what, be the best he player rushing? ever. He had like 160 <laughs> rushing <laughs> after his. <laughs> Who said I that? I don't think it's too premature to say that either. If he no, does, yeah. if he puts up another week of 40 plus fantasy points, I mean, I, I, I mean, don't know, you, man. You were, we're all the same age. We all bought the Madden with Michael Vick on it, right? And now this we're is wa- this is pretty close. Not even yeah. I'm not trying to say like, oh, I'm like Michael Vick was amazing. I'm not trying to like Justin Fields kind of has to still figure out the passing part because he did only have 167. But 13 carries, 147 and two, and then he he had 170 plus last weekend. The kid's good. Just pass on the red zone. That's all right. If a running back was getting these numbers two weeks in a row, you'd be the kid. You'd be saying just the rushing yards. Yeah, you just yeah. Got like the, the kid's elite. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, he's commanding the entire offense. Cole Komet, what you know, like it's good. Darnell yeah, you're Moody, getting an RB one that's throwing passes and touchdowns. That's insane. That's what Lamar yeah. Jackson's supposed to be, and he hasn't been that really. So he's been a disappointment. Yeah, he wanted yeah. to show you that he's not a running back. He's not a very good quarterback either right now either. So he's just, but he's showing you that he's not a running back though. All he needs to do is throw to Cole Komet. Hopefully Komet's healthy. But no, yeah. there's the ones that you see like they um like Aaron Judge, like, oh, I need a big contract. Oh, I don't want to give it to you. Boom. Well, how am I gonna do this to you then? Right? <laughs> Look at him. Like best one of the best years ever. Right. Lamar Jackson needed to do that this year. Cause he's had he's kind of for me, you've seen all these people like pay Lamar Jackson. I'm betting it. on myself. Hundred yeah, percent. 100% pay him. He's so good. But he's yeah. not but like, he's not, but he's not good hurt, enough though? to get the big yeah, yes. He's still yeah. going to get the bag from somebody. Yeah. He's still going to get the bag from somebody. I don't want to. Yeah, no I'm the Raiders. It's going to be the Raiders. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, yeah, that'd be a <laughs> Yeah, Der- Der- we gave Derek Carr the bag a long time ago. <laughs> uh all right, the Cowboys Vikings 47 and a half. Uh we just talked about obviously CD Lamb and Dak that connection uh is you is just going pretty kind of well. hope it's another Tony Pollard week. Oh, yeah. Obviously Zeke, oh, the owners aren't hoping that, but if they might play if Thompson's out them, again, if Thompson's yeah. out again, that would be an easy Pollard week, yeah. And, and obviously, you go to the Vikings side. He's not a leftover. Who's, who's the backup that? for the Cowboys? For the Cowboys, yes. Cowboys, it's like Turpin, I believe, and he like returns punts and stuff. He's a former USFL player. 
Sure. Something believe. Wilson. Who? Something Wilson, Wilson, the backup running back. Oh, he's a nobody. Third stringer. I wouldn't even. He's, he's not Malik. even a leftover. We'll find it. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like I remember seeing somebody not Pollard actually doing some stuff last week that actually looked. It's very good. Malik, Malik Davis. Malik Davis. Yes. That's that's the one. Yeah. All right. He's gashing right. people. I mean, I don't, he's not sustainable. He's not a leftover. I would but, not left. No, because he's going to be no. like double stacked over and yeah. like you well, know what I mean. He, like it's, he had it's 17 gross. yard carry, right? So you take that off as the yardage, right? So then he has 21 yards. <laughs> 21 <laughs> yards for four carries again. Bringing math into it is all right. not great. <laughs> it's all right. Four carries. No. 20. That's that's over five yards of carry. That's 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 pretty good. Top tier stuff. Yeah. Do that again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, if he's got the opportunity, you know I, again, not leftovers Et, material. You know how people figure out Etienne was good because he ran eight yards of carry three games in a row. So that's I mean, good. he's got it. He's got two more games that. to go. That's yeah, fine. No, it's, he's gonna go up to Mike McCarthy and be like, "You need to sit Zeke. You need Give to me sit five Pollard. carries. I can do <laughs> Look at my stack. Do it. <laughs> I can do this, man. I can do it. Uh, nice. uh, no, that, that's gonna be a good game. Obviously, Justin Jefferson versus CD Lamb is gonna be fun to watch on both I'll sides. I'm surprised no one's dude was Justin Jefferson this week because that he's pretty good. But just, no, that's uh, that's a bang over your head, dude. That's that's like guaranteed locked in, dude, all the time. Yeah. I mean, if you're making him a dude, we're like, all right, you're wasting our time. Yeah, honestly, yeah. like, why are we listening? Yeah. That's kind of why I put Cooper Cup in the dud because it's like that's a big name and we're calling him a dud. But also, yeah, I hurt. already called the penalty yeah. on that, anyways. So, yeah, he's uh, all right, all right. He's like really like defend it still. Yeah. Chiefs Chargers the highest point total of the week, uh, fifty point five. Mike Williams. They're the highest Keenan point Allen. total. Just guys, just take the under just right now. The Chiefs. Just take the under right now. Mike, okay. uh, Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, who has a better chance to come back, or none of them? Neither. Uh, Keenan Allen, just because he can decoy. Mike Williams can't decoy. He's out there. He needs to do something. He's huge. Like He needs to catch the ball. He needs to like do s- some type of action, right? Um, oh, speaking of leftover, um, I don't think I'm saying this guy's name right. DeAndre uh, Carter? Nope. Uh, oh, okay. Trey McKitty, I believe. McKitty? He's a tight end. McKitty? For, um, the uh, Chargers. Yeah, Trey yeah. McKinney. I'm saying his name right. Sorry. Yeah. Um, why am I? Uh, Gerald Everett gone yeah. with the groin. Yep. Leftovers. Not going to play. This kid had three catches for 21 whenever it left already and ever it left in the middle of the game. Yep. So this kid's a receiving tight end, third overall uh, pick in the draft. Very, very good player. Top tier last name, MC Kitty. That's awesome. That like, should be his rap name. That's his rap name. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> yeah. It's blue that's red. Sick. Yeah, he went to Georgia. Florida State didn't do much in school, but this kid is very good at offense. He has good hands. Uh, he's gonna. Be, I think he's gonna be good and take a little bit of the uh, the load off the receiving core. Lions right. and Giants is the last game at forty four and a half. Lions, what Giants? Yep, it's forty four and a half, right? So it's like, yeah, I mean, that's a shoot. That's a drought. That's a drought. Yeah, we're getting, but that's that's the thing. That's the fourth highest point total. So is it's this going to be a, it's a down week? Yeah. Oof. All right. All right. It's gonna be one of those weird weeks where like everybody don't start Swift. Just. I don't, don't know. Don't what do it. To do What's it going on there? That's I think so he's crazy. Done. I think he's not good. I think he's not a good runner. He had I think like one catch kick. for six yards and a touchdown last week. That was the only value. But he's like not. You wait. They're giving like, twenty plus carries to Jamal Williams. That, who's not that even, offense he's not even doing both. that great. Yeah. But why? There's it something. Saints that, one. Oh, there's I don't something know. Something going on. There, it's like, criminal. He's literally, Dan Campbell is not playing him for like. It's something. I mean, obviously, like it's another thing. We don't know what's going on in the room. So this is this is deeper than than what we can see. But it's still, as a fantasy football player, we're like, dude, can, Everyone got can so hyped not? on him. He, he was drafted as, what, <laughs> one of the top five running backs? He was first yeah. round. First, yeah. Oh, yeah. Late first, early second, for sure. Top but, eight, yeah. top six, top yep. seven. What's crazy is, that. like, after the first week or two, you were like, yeah, this is this is awesome. I did it. Boom. Like, it worked. And, and, then, and then now he's just, like, hanging around. Another one of those players that's like, you, you can start him. Well, it's not the shoulder and it's not the ankle now. It's just the opportunities. I don't get why. They just saw they just like what they saw to Jamal Williams, but I don't. Oh, Jamal yeah. Williams has always been pretty good. Yeah, I, no, Packer, no, no, not Packer to Jamal great. Williams, but they drafted DeAndre Swift to be their guy. So why is he high, not their guy? High pick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. He should. I, and their I don't offensive know. line is very good. So I would start. I would still start there. Swift if I had him. Just just because you probably what if you're you going to slide him, you're not in. Good. I feel like you're not a good team if you have him because you spend right, a high well, pick that, on someone that's not getting good points. Yeah. Yeah. Also, shout out to Kenny Galladay. Uh, the I was going to say he's better than we riding with Kenny, <laughs> Kenny Galladay. <laughs> we, we talked about him last yeah. week. Bad. Uh, didn't go. Didn't now go he has a hammy now, too. Or he has mm. two, but one hurts. 
Sorry. All right. <laughs> it's a team related hammy. Yeah. This is this is why people come here. They want the Kenny Galladay updates. Yeah, there uh, you go. We slammed, we them. got it in right at the we end. We got it in. It's, yes. It's uh, I feel like uh, anything else this this week coming up that like I mean I know Thursday night football people are probably listening to this. You if you're listening. The to World Cup's Thursday, coming up. Obviously. Another football Whoa, show. Another. Hey. Football we can show. cover that football. Hey. It's fantasy football. All right. Yeah. I'm down. I like it. And by yes. I'm down, I mean I have no no not working knowledge of that. But I mean we'll we'll figure it out. We'll piece it together. For sure. It's gonna be fun. Uh, we'll throw together fantasy World Cup league. Yeah, It'll be exciting. Uh, anything else here? I just I don't know. I don't know what else. I'm, I, obviously, finishing up the giant. I don't know. It just seems like it's gonna be down. It's gonna be a week, next week. Eleven is gonna be a week that you look at your fantasy scoring afterwards and be like, why is everybody under a hundred fantasy points? Like you know what I mean? Like why is my team total like literally garbage? We're gonna have a DFS who has fields. Yeah, that's gonna be the only person yeah. over. DFS winners are going to have like 110 points, and you're going to be excited about it. So trade everything for Justin Fields, and uh, and you'll be good this week in week 11. So there you go. What does uh, Baker Mayfield do for DJ Moore, as our as our Charlotte expert, Justin? What does he do for DJ Moore? No, not good things. Better than uh, PJ Walker? They were falling apart in the last couple games. So PJ DJ Moore's no best games downgrade. came with PJ Walker, not yeah, not Baker it. Mayfield. No, they game. lost it, but at least they had it. That was one. They, game. He's never had it with Baker. Well, let's see if he does. Maybe <laughs> yeah, he's got it with Darnold. That's it. You better find it. Get on the field. Uh, yeah, maybe Darnold. I don't know, but it is. It is that that whole situation has been disgusting. Uh, Hopefully, Mark I, Anderson's back for the Ravens. Gus Edwards, yeah. maybe iffy, but I don't know. Gus it, Edwards back. Who do, who who are you starting? Uh, Gus Edwards or Kenyon Drake? If God Edwards, Edwards is healthy, I'll take him. I don't like Drake. They only use him when they want to. It seems like like. I don't know. It's random games. You can't predict it. Yeah. Yeah. But hasn't he played like relatively well? I feel like he's played decent enough. Because he's got like... opportunities, but like he's not like you can't just like guarantee he's going to have a good game every week. Okay. Right. That's it's fair. not automatic. All right. Let's see. Doc just walked in. Uh, you may, you can see his uh, analysis at, again, I will say the website, sixscore.com, S I C score.com. And keep it a uh, secret. It, yeah. Keep it, I don't know why I whispered it into the microphone. Everyone, <laughs> it, every, if you weird. heard it, it's literally right in your ear holes. So. Uh, it's not a secret anymore. Secret's out. And uh, we'll catch you guys next week. And anything else? I, again, I keep saying this. I feel like there's something we're missing, but I guess we'll find it next week on another fantasy football show. See you guys later. How is that so weird? I don't know. Taylor, I feel like I can't see Taylor's face right now, but he's he's weirded out. I don't it know where his face is. It says I'm on the backstage and you can put me in. Hmm. All right.